British American Tobacco, is this a stock you should buy right now? That's what we're going to answer here in this analysis video. I like to simplify things, and I'm going to discuss six metrics in this analysis. Earnings growth, PE ratio, dividends, return on equity, free cash flow, and intrinsic value. They're then put on a 0 to 99 grade scale, so it's easier to visualize the different numbers I'm going to throw at you in this video. The first five metrics mostly deal with how good of a business we have. No point investing if it's an undervalued piece of crap. That's why I save intrinsic value near the end. Earnings growth is by far the most important metric. A company that doesn't grow doesn't survive for long. British American has decent growth at 7.88% per year going forward, which is helpful in getting investors back into the stock. For PE ratio, most people look at it as a valuation metric. I don't base my intrinsic value on the PE ratio. The PE ratio to me is a measurement of hype. Too high and there's just too many eager eyes on the stock. Too low and we might have a hidden gem. British American has amazing PE ratio at 6.54. Hype around the stock is almost non-existent, meaning this is a prime time to show interest. Dividends should be an obvious metric and something a lot of people ignore. I'm going to put it out there. If you buy a stock that doesn't pay you anything, you're speculating, you're not investing. British American pays out a 10.59% dividend. The stock has been hammered down enough while profits stay put, thus increasing your payout if you invest. For return on equity, it tells me a lot about the management. It shows me how efficiently my investment dollars will be treated if I were to buy the stock. British American has good management with an ROE of 12.2%. Your investment is being used smartly and at efficient level. Free cash flow is my way to quickly evaluate how dominant of a company we're dealing with. The more cash available, the better opportunities to buy up other companies, the better to research, and more money for marketing. British American has an okay cash flow to the tune of $12.36 billion. Unfortunately, that's not enough to expand the business or make any meaningful acquisitions. Okay, as I said, these five metrics we just went over tells me what kind of business we're dealing with. With a business grade of 74, we're dealing with a good business. Aside from the free cash available, every other metric looks good. But before we get our intrinsic value, consider joining my Patreon and get access to every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. As I said, British American is a good business, but let's see what the price tells us in terms of attractiveness. Nevertheless, British American Tobacco is worth $52 per share. Right now, we're looking at a bargain for a stock. When it comes to timing, this is the time. And now that we've got all the numbers down, we need to put it all together and get our final grade. British American Tobacco has a final grade of 78, and that makes it a good long-term investment. For me, almost everything looks good. It's not hyped at all, it has nice growth, and it pays you handsomely. But hey, after this video comes out, anything can happen in the next few days, weeks, months, even years. But long-term is always longer than you expect. Keep this in mind, it took Warren Buffett 45 years to become a billionaire. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.